Hey guys, what's up? It's Crazy RC Maniac here, and today we're gonna be uh, fixing up my SCX10 here uh, project logo. For those of you who remember, uh, basically what happened was when I built this thing, um, the screws and the C hubs over here got stripped out. So um, when I, as soon as I started driving it after I built it, uh, basically I lost a couple screw screws and the wheels would fold out like this. So it was really hard to drive. Uh, the the video I posted of it up. Uh, a while back actually um, the I had to take a whole bunch of retakes of that because the wheels would fall out so now we're going to be addressing the problem via the power of Amazon and um, shout out to the mail service Illy all right so let's get the truck out of the way here whoops here we have a package I ordered it from Amazon instead of like a hobby store like tower hobbies or something because the parts that I needed as I reach in front of the camera right there, parts that I needed were actually out of stock, which is uh, a little strange. How the heck am I supposed to open this thing? As you can see, when we open it up, we have two parts in here. Get rid of this. Our first part, so it's a AXA 435, and these are three by 10 hex uh, screws, and uh, they're just normal screws. Uh, that fit into the C hubs right over here and next we have the AXA th or no just AX 30495 and uh, what these are if I can get that to work here now oh, here aluminum uh, they're basically C hubs except they're aluminum so the screws won't strip out I didn't get um, steering knuckles in aluminum because in all honesty this is what was causing the problem, not the steering knuckles, because the screw locks into this. So if this is solid, the knuckles shouldn't matter. And uh, I'm kind of on a budget here, you know. You guys probably noticed I took the wheels off of uh, the front of this truck. If you haven't, you should probably get your eyes checked. But um, other than that, we good. So these are the C-hubs that we have to be removing right here. And uh, on the other side, right here. These are C-hubs, for those of you who don't know. And basically what they do is they hold the steering knuckle, which is uh, this next part down here. This, this is the steering knuckle. And so the C-hubs hold those in place and they keep the tires and everything lined up. And this is the part I replaced it with. Okay, so um, I already removed the wheels. And so all, the, all I have to do left is uh, take out this screw right here and another one in the back right there. What I'm gonna do now is pop open the aluminum ones. From what I can tell, these are exactly identical, so I don't think it matters too much which side you put them on. As you can see, these are just chewed up completely. Okay, so this has a, a, a bit more play, as you can see, than the, the plastic ones, and that's because it has two holes here instead of just the one on the uh, stock one. Put this side by side. So you can actually clock your axles, which is very useful, but not gonna help me much here because I already don't need to clock the axles. <laughs> I'm gonna try to use the original screws that were in the package and see how that goes. If not, I will switch over to the special grub screws. One thing that's different about uh, these aluminum hubs compared to the plastic ones is that you can feel when these are fully in, whereas with the plastic ones you really couldn't. It was just like guess and check pretty much. As you can see, the C hubs are on. Now all you have to do is reattach the steering, put on the steering knuckles, stuff like that. I will get another one of these screws, which is the one I ordered because I did not have. Okay, so I just slid these on. Now I'm going to line them up and uh, screw them in. Okay, uh, that is now screwed on. As you can see, it pivots smoothly. This one's a pretty gross, actually. Uh, I need to back out this one right here, put a new flange in there. That is also pivoting well, as you can see there. Last thing to do, reconnect the steering.
one thing I'm noticing is that this is a very high clearance uh, front link now. If you guys can see that, before it was much lower. That's because I the clock axles are still are, are clocked actually. I may have to do some readjusting with this servo over here, but other than that, we are looking good. Just gotta put on some wheels. Do that pretty quickly. Okay, guys, that was uh, me fixing up this uh, known problem on the SAX-10. If you guys liked it, make sure to leave a like down below and uh, comment, tell me all your thoughts about it. Um, you guys should be expecting trail videos coming up very soon because of course now it's fixed, I can actually run it and uh, we Gucci and uh, I should probably figure out how to recalibrate the server. Swag, peace.